Hello again, my fellow people. Today, uh, we are going to be dismantling this poor guy. I mean, I already have just uh, cords off of both of them. Um, my dad is Kinchella Customs, you can ask him why. Um, if they plug into the wall, they're dangerous. But I've taken the brushes out of this, and now it's got got freer rotation. But I don't know how to get the bottom piece off of that one, so we're gonna dismantle this big boy here. Using two screwdrivers to take the bottom off, but the bottom unfortunately doesn't want to come off. The screwdriver slips and I'm pretty sure nothing else here is gonna want to work either, so I just say take the the bigger um and the only one that's actually you know sticking up here. Just that. Do what I can to make it work. This video might have more than one part. I might be able to get this all done in one video. Okay, that's that one. It's about four screws holding this all together, so release this bottom piece. I'm gonna keep it in the middle here so you guys can see. Come on. Doesn't always want to spin. Get a good, good, good. Death grip on. There we go. Mm -hmm. This is a screw. My dad might actually be able to use that. That means this one, if that other one came up like that, then that means this one's not out all the way. There, so now we can switch to this one here, and then we can start taking the terminals off. Or the polarities. I don't have anything to cut them at the moment because my other pair of pliers broke while I was using them. They died in action. Some might take that the wrong way, but kudos. YOLO. Freaking YOLO. I'm kind of like Sunday. He's always like, YOLO, you know. When he played 60 seconds, he always opened the door. He just not like... I think he's kind of been a little hesitant about opening the door when he played that game, but... Markiplier and Weasel Zone are never prone to not opening the front door of their bunker. What is this holding on to? Okay. Then what the big deal is here? Okay, I don't know what's going on there, but who cares? So here's the um, location for the brushes that touch the commutator. Now, this commutator has been well, it's been hit with files and screwdrivers. Get my, you know, I I damaged the commutator, but even after it's been on. You've seen that video when it turns on and it arced really bad. Even so with the damage that's been done to the commutator, um, it's still, uh, the arcing still reduced to almost nothing as, uh, as it went on. But, um, arcing aside, you know, I'm gonna get those brushes out because I feel like, I have a feeling these are gonna be a, a little lot bigger than the brushes that I found in that other motor, the other vacuum motor. In the future, when I have more, um, experience, or I'm better with electricity, at least, I'll probably use something else to do with this. These are, like, wedged on by that part. 
Okay. No idea what to do with that. Or what to do about that, actually. The fact that that's all looped around there. Sink, sink, sink. Oh, I could just snap it off, but... I just gotta use my might to take it off, but... Like I said, this will be off. Probably more than one part. There we go. There we go. Now I just gotta do this side. Perfect. Got that one side off. Here's the brush. The brush is quite beaten up and battered from what I've been doing to that shaft while it was going. How many years of operation do you think was left in this vacuum motor when I got it from that little green vacuum that was in grandma's garage, my grandma's garage? How many miles do you think it had left in it? I'll probably have a second part to this, which will be not on the same day, maybe perhaps not even on the same weekend, um, to get the shaft out and getting a good look at the internal components. There we go. Free rotation at its best, of course. You gotta love free row. Free row there. Ooh. Well, I popped the screw out, but that's about all that did come out. That's all it did want to come out. There we go, got that out. That got way more beat up. This is probably near the side. This is the side where the broken terminal, so this is probably the side where the where the file nearly popped when it was on the commutator. Kurt ran up and popped. I don't know if it was that. I don't know exactly what happened, but... This may have been from me trying to pry it out. But there we go. Freer rotation now. That is, that'll be part one. That's it for now, guys. This has been part one of the vacuum motor dismantling of the brushes. I will see you next time.